Hello guys and girls and welcome to another Sunday afternoon chat on a beautiful afternoon here in Oklahoma. A beautiful afternoon, a little bit chilly, a little bit chilly but just really spectacular. We got a couple of really beautiful days coming up and we got cold weather coming in. This weather's been so crazy all winter. We've had a really great winter. A warm fall, a warm winter, a lot of days in the 60s, the 70s, even the 80 degrees and, and really very little really bad freezing stuff. A little bit, you know, a little bit, a little bit of snow, a little bit of ice but but really pretty spectacular, pretty pretty warm winter. But here we get into March and we've got a couple of weeks coming up. We've got a couple of real pretty days. And then we got days coming up that's gonna be in the 50s for highs every single day, clear out till about the middle of the month, about March 15th. I looked all the way out 15 days ahead, 52, 53, 55. But the good thing is we're having quite a bit of rain and that's good. We've got a rainy year going. Uh, we've actually got 1.1 inch of rain a couple, two or three days ago. Gives us over six inches, actually 6.6 .6 at my ranch for the year. To give you an idea of how great that is, Last year through the through April, January, February, February, March, and April, we had a total of 6.5. So we're ahead of through April. Now in May last year we had about seven inches up and only month we had really good rain. We had about seven inches in May. But uh, but anyway, so we we have rain. Our lake, uh, Twin Eagle Lake, is up. Uh, I looked at it on uh, my. Uh, and it's only about that far below the, uh, the below the deck now, below the bottom of the deck, so it's perfect. It's just really, really great. And uh, so we're going to have a rainy year. Uh, we need to get the Canyon Lake filled up, and everything will be just absolutely spectacular. We've got a lot of things to talk about on this uh, Sunday afternoon chat because we've got a really, really busy March. We've been busy already. I did want to mention our newsletter because the newsletter goes out the first of every month, which just went out. I just looked at it. It's an email newsletter. It's absolutely free, and it is jam full of information to help you. Absolutely jam full. Doesn't cost you a penny. All you need to do is go to jimmyhouston.com and just give us your email address. We don't need your telephone number, don't need your address, anything. We just need your email address. We get your email address, we'll send you that newsletter on the first of every month. I think we've been doing that for over a year now. We've got over 10,000 people on there that we send that to. And uh, it's got information on there about lots and lots of different things. I guarantee you, you'll enjoy it. Uh, you look through there and read it. You can actually link through to a lot of different places, a lot of different videos, a lot of really neat things. That, And you look through there and you see something that's really interesting in there. It might help you to catch more fish or might be a great place to go to or something. You can look in there and you can click to that and gain more information about it. It's absolutely a spectacular newsletter if I do pat myself on the back. And actually, I really have very little to do with it. My grandson, Kyle, does that newsletter. He researches, he works really, really hard on it. And again, it's 100% free. All you need to do is just go to jimmyhouston.com. There's a place where you can hit the, in there and give us your email address and, uh, and you'll get that newsletter absolutely free. Share it and tell, let your buddies and your friends know about that newsletter because it's got so much good, helpful information in it. And uh, the very next one will be April 1. That's right, April 1. Uh, I want to tell you a lot of the things we've got going on this month because we've got a lot of really f spectacular things. I've got some uh, surprises for Chris coming up the, uh, actually Monday, tomorrow Monday. I've got a good surprise coming up for her that she doesn't know anything about. I hadn't told Sherry or anybody about it. Just me. I'm the only one the whole family knows about it. But uh, I'll try to video a little bit of that surprise and go through that a little bit with you tomorrow. I've got another surprise coming for her on Tuesday. And uh, so I've got two days I've got surprises coming for her this week. And it just tickles me to death to just do anything I can that makes her smile, it makes her happy, it just really does. So we'll, uh, we'll be sharing those surprises with you. They're pretty spectacular, actually, pretty spectacular. Uh, and uh, and I, th I, think, I think you'll enjoy those. Uh, we have been fishing this week. We've been down in northern Florida at Bienville Plantation. Bienville Plantation is an incredible plantation down there. It's 12,000 acres. Uh, they've got, a, I don't know how many, 18 lakes, I think, on it. And they do guided fishing trips there. They have lodge, they have cabins. They can handle anywhere from a, a family or a, a man and a woman going down and having some fun or a guy and a couple, two or three or four or eight or 10 or 20 of his buddies. They can handle company trips down there. They can do a lot and they have guided fishing trips. The guides are all guys that have, generally most of them have other jobs. My buddy John Robertson who's, is who I've been fishing with down there. I've known John for a long, long time. And uh, he's got a beautiful big bass boat and uh, he guides down there on the side. And that's what most of those guides do. And the, but they've got big, beautiful bass boats. They've got rods and reels and tackles. All you need to do is show up and you're gonna have spectacular fun with them. The food is great. The accommodations and cabins are absolutely fantastic. They also do gator hunts. I believe they do deer and turkey hunts. Uh, they do uh, company groups. 
groups. They can take a, a big group from a company or just an individual or a wife and his family. It's just a great place. It's at White Springs, Florida. White Springs, Florida, that's northern Florida, uh, just up on the Florida-Georgia line, really, is, is, is where it is. And uh, uh, we just had a great time there. We fished a couple of days, just caught a ton of fish, just caught a ton of fish. Caught most of the fish there, caught a lot of them on a square bill, a red-orange square bill, a, uh, what uh, I think Lucky Strike uh, used to be called an RC. I think now they're going to call it an, an Elite One, Elite One square bill. We caught a lot of fish on those. Uh, caught a lot of them on a red man spinnerbait. Caught quite a few fish on a... Uh, uh, a hydrotail worm, a Lucky Strike hydrotail worm, as well as uh, several fish on, on a sinking worm. And uh, we fished two days there. We did some television shows, had a, had a sensational time, just had a great time. Uh, I fished with a, with a girl that does some PR work for the city, actually, the, the town of White Springs. I uh, fished with her one day. We just had a ball. She's a, that girl's been fishing all her life. She's about 30 years old and, and a pretty girl. And just, just she had a ball out there. And I had just a, a lot of fun fishing with her. I fished uh, one day with, with my, my, uh, my buddy John Robinson. And uh, we, we had a great day, caught a lot of fish, and just, just had a great time. Uh, we then went up, to, in, up into the state of Georgia and fished on another really nice plantation and a similar type operations. First time I'd ever been there to Live Oak Plantation in Georgia. I think it's the third or the fourth time over the last 40 years that I've been to Bienville, but uh, I always enjoy going there. I just don't get a chance to go there very often. It'd be a wonderful place to go fish once a year. I just don't get a chance to do that. But I went to Live Oak. A Live Oak, again, is the same situation. They've got beautiful cabins. They've got a beautiful lodge, spectacular food. They do have a golf course there, they, they, and there they've got quail hunting. Uh, they do gator hunts over there at, at, down at, uh, at uh, Bienville, and uh, so you can do some gator hunting there also. I don't know if I mentioned that. But uh, they have a golf course there where you can play golf. They have, uh, they have hunting and fishing, deer hunting. They have fishing, great fishing, and uh, spectacular lodges. Again, it's a place where you can go and take your family and go with some friends, or you can take, it, take an entire fam uh, company. Uh, there was a, a group there from Louisiana, and we had a lot of fun with them, about six of them. They'd gone out and done some quail hunting, uh, they were going fishing and they're playing some golf, so they're kind of doing everything there. So it's a good place for companies to entertain some of their customers, and that's what. And these guys were really good guys. Uh, I had met some of them before, back around at various events throughout the years, and we had a great dinner with them, visited with them till about oh golly, about 11:30 or 12 o'clock one night. And that's one of the things about going to places like that and getting around other fishermen. It's just the fun and the fellowship and the camaraderie you have, visiting with each other and sharing what you what happened to you out there that day what happened what you what you're going to do tomorrow looking forward to the expectation but uh, and Live Oak Plantation is near Adele Georgia uh, A-D-E-L so White Springs Florida is where uh, Bienville Plantation is Adele Georgia we will be having some videos up here on YouTube and Facebook uh, with both of those now those are they, we were shooting television shows for the 2024 Jimmy Houston Outdoors television series we show on ESPN every Saturday morning 730 Eastern Time we show uh, the Heartland Network WFN World Fishing Network, uh, Pursuit Channel, uh, uh, AT&T Sports Southwest down in down in in, in Texas, uh, uh, I, I, about a dozen different networks that we show on Discovery Channel. We show on Discovery Channel for uh, the first ten or twelve weeks of the year. ESPN two we're on for the first twenty six weeks of the year. So, uh, but we have we have a really good time. If you wonder what's uh, why were the cameras moving around, it's not somebody doing that. Uh, Benelli is down there laying around at my feet and she's just moving around moving the tripod but that's okay that's not a problem. Benelli is growing like a horse she's just getting so big so fast and she's maturing a lot too. Boy she's still got a lot of puppy in her though I guarantee you and she's still not completely housebreak I just want to beat her to death when she pees on the floor but she's getting better and she's doing better at it and usually it'll just click in their mind one of these days that they're not supposed to pee in the, in the house but she hasn't really got that quite down yet. She hadn't got it. Uh, by the way, uh, you know, I mentioned that I have some surprises coming for Chris. Today is a, uh, uh, a uh, kind of an omnibus anniversary, you might say. It's 23 months ago today when Chris had that stroke that basically almost killed her. She came within that close of losing her life and it damaged her brain a lot. She still can't walk. She can't talk well all of the time. She talks pretty good most of the time and uh, she still can't use her right arm, which is why I have not cut my hair. <laughs> 
One of these days I want to let her cut it. I had to trim some off the front because I got to where I couldn't see. I had to trim some off the sides. So I got to where I couldn't hear. And I still can't hear very well. I think it's my ears and not my hair. But I would let her go in the back and it's getting pretty long. I'm really kind of liking it nowadays. It's a lot of problems and trouble, but, but it's really kind of cool to have long hair. I had long hair when I was a kid. Now I have long hair when I'm an old guy. So I guess you just say an old hippie. That's it. You just say an old hippie. Uh, but, uh, but anyway, 23 months ago today, and uh, I really won't talk about it too much other than say that Chris is gaining all the time. She's getting a little bit better all the time, and uh, she's going to completely, she's going to completely heal from this. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind about it. God is healing Chris as we speak, as we speak, God is healing Chris. And, uh, and she's going to be completely well one of these days, walking around with me and, and feeding the deer and doing all the, the wonderful things that we've done all our life. You know, I've been married to that girl, same woman, over 58 years. Isn't that amazing? Over 58 years. Uh, another event that's, that's happened here in the last uh, couple, two or three weeks, and I've reminded some of y'all that through a video, but the Wonders of Wildlife Aquarium and Museum over in Springfield, Missouri, that my buddy Johnny Morris built, took over nine years to build that spectacular, spectacular museum and it's been voted the top aquarium in the United States. They have a wildlife part of it and an aquarium part of it. It's been voted the top aquarium I know in 2021-22 and I think it's voted the top museum or in some of the other years too so just about every year it's voted uh, is the top something and, uh, the, and the way you can vote for that is uh, we've got a link up on one of the videos here and I might be able to get Sherry to put a link up on this video right here and you go in there and hit that link and you'll scroll down through there and see a vote you can vote you can vote only one time per day per person but you can vote uh, today Sunday and you can vote uh, tomorrow Monday which is I think the six so there's only two more days you can vote so vote both those there to for and and if you haven't if you haven't seen that aquarium just take my word for it it is absolutely spectacular it is without a doubt the nation's number one and the nation's very best aquarium uh, no no doubt about that no doubt about that whatsoever so uh, be sure and be sure and vote for the wonders of wildlife aquarium is the number one it's been nominated again as a, one of the top aquariums in the country by USA Today so be sure and vote for that um, just to tell you a little bit about what's going on tonight, I will be in Carnegie, Oklahoma. So if any of y'all are around within an hour or two of Carnegie, Oklahoma, now Carnegie's a 120 or 130 miles or so from my ranch, and Chris and I'll be there this evening. I might bring Benelli with me as a matter of fact. But uh, Chris and I will be at First Baptist, Carnegie, Oklahoma for a big fish fry there tonight. The fish fries that starts at six o'clock, and I'll be speaking at seven o'clock. It's gonna be a really big event. It's absolutely free. Absolutely free. Uh, you do have to have a ticket though. The tickets don't cost anything, so you need to get in touch with them there, First Baptist at Carnegie, Oklahoma, uh, to get your ticket for that, because they're gonna only, only allow 300 people to be in there. Carnegie's not a big town in Oklahoma City, but uh, we expect to fill that church up tonight, and it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. I understand a couple of my friends, uh, Sam Porter, who is the, uh, 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 the, I think he's the head of the Oklahoma Men's Baptist uh, uh, the Baptist of Oak, Men's Baptist of Oklahoma or something, they go around and help people all around the nation when they have hurricanes and tornadoes and disasters of all kinds. They, they just are a bunch of Baptist men that help people when they're in need. So I, th I understand Sam's going to be there tonight, which is fantastic. And his father-in-law, which is a really long, old-time friend of mine, Gerald Peters. And uh, Gerald has been a preacher uh, well, as long as I've ever known him. He's been preaching and he fought COVID and they, they, uh, they were going to put him on a ventilator and told him he probably did not have but a few days to live and he sent a real nice note out on Facebook to everybody thanking everybody for being his friend and tell him how much he had enjoyed living his life around them and with them and through them and uh, that uh, that uh, if he uh, come out of that deal he'd see you in a few days and if not he'd see you in heaven and he, re he recovered remarkably from that and he, he was back preaching within a week they did not put him on a ventilator he just miraculously God made him well he still had work for him to do but I'll be at First Baptist Gar Carnegie Oklahoma tonight fish fry at six o'clock I'm sure it's going to be great and I'll be speaking at seven so if you're anywhere around within an hour or two hour drive of Carnegie, Oklahoma. Come on over there to First Baptist Church, Carnegie. I think the other churches there in Carnegie, Oklahoma are pr probably not having church tonight. Some of their people will be over there. So we should have a full house. We have great food just like they have at every Baptist church. Uh, a lot of those Baptist ladies, I'm sure, are fixing dessert uh, right now for tonight. 
and uh, and they will be uh, they'll be serving some desserts that are just knock your socks off. I promise you. I'm sure some of them will have some banana pull it pudding. It's to slap your mama away from the table banana pudding because those Baptist ladies can really 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 cook. Uh, we've got uh, quite a few churches lined up throughout the year, and I'll talk to you about them as they get a little bit closer. Uh, I will be at uh, Park Hill Baptist Church, by the way, in Freeport, Illinois, in a couple of weeks. That's Saturday night, March 18th. I will be in Freeport Baptist Church. Uh, I'll be in, in uh, Park Hill, excuse me. And we, we were, we're, you know, uh, we, my daughter and, and, and son and all, they live in Park Hill, Oklahoma. Uh, we live at Cookson, Oklahoma, and then we live down on, on our ranch in, uh, down there at Gene Autry, Oklahoma. Actually, Gene Autry, Oklahoma. But they, Park Hill, Oklahoma, but Park Hill Baptist Church, Freeport, Illinois. That's where it'll be Saturday night, March 18th. I've got a couple of days I'll be working down in Texas. Before that, I'll be the, the two days right before that, March 16 and 17. I'll be at the Bass Pro Shop store in Grapevine. That's the one out there by Fellowship Church uh, that, uh, that uh, uh, a buddy of mine out there a buddy of mine out there preaches at Fellowship Church, a big church right across from Bass Pro out by the airport at Grapevine. I'll be there on Thursday and Friday, March 16th and 17th, before I fly up to Illinois and at that church uh, Sunday night, uh, uh, Saturday night. I will be at the Major League Fishing Championships in Charlotte, uh, North Carolina. I'll be there on a Saturday and Sunday. That's March 10 and 11. And the majority of the time while I'm there, I might be in a couple other booths. I know I'm going to be some question and answer sessions, but I'll be in the Bass Pro Tracker uh, Nitro Ranger boat booth pretty much that, that entire time on Saturday and Sunday. So if you're at the MLF Championship, I think they call that the Red Crest. It's their, their championship. It's like the Bassmaster Classic where the guys qualify for that event. And uh, I will be there. I'll be there on, uh, on, on uh, Saturday and Sunday, March 16 and March 17. Uh, both days. I'll be at, uh, at, at the Bassmaster Classic. Uh, that's later in the month, March 24 and 25, a Saturday and Sunday. That will be at Knoxville, Tennessee. The last time we were at Knoxville, um, uh, we had a great time there, tremendous crowds. Uh, both of those cities where they're having those tournaments are great, great fishing cities. A lot of great fishermen in that area. We expect huge crowds there at both of them. So come by and see us. I'll be at a lot of different booths at the Bassmaster Classic. I will be at the Tracker Ranger Bass Pro Shop booth. I'll also be at Mercury. I'll be at Garmin. I'll be at Power Pole. I'll be at Lucky Strike. Uh, I'll, um, I don't know if I've got Minn Kota scheduled in there or not, but I'll be at, I think, seven booths. I'll be on, at those booths only 50 minutes or 55 minutes each, and then I'll move to another booth. But we'll be there all day Saturday and all day Sunday. So if you're at the Bassmaster Classic, plan on being there Saturday and Sunday. That is in Knoxville. It's the 24th and 25th. Uh, the very last day of the month, March 31st, it's on a Friday. I'll be at Choctaw Road Baptist. Uh, that's near Oklahoma City. Uh, actually, if I went to school at more schools all the way from the first grade through my junior year, we, Choctaw was in our conference in football and basketball, baseball track. I played all the sports there, and so I've, uh, I've been to Choctaw playing sports in their gymnasium on their football field, on their baseball diamond, and uh, Choctaw right there around the Oklahoma City area. I'll be there the very last day of the month. That's a Friday, March 31st, Choctaw Road Baptist. So put that on your calendar. If you're anywhere around the Oklahoma City area, within a couple hours of there or so, we'll have a great evening there at Choctaw Baptist Church. So we have a lot planned. March is a very, very busy month. I've got friends coming to the ranch uh, to fish a couple of two or three days, a couple, two or three different times. Uh, we have uh, some shell people coming in to fish. And we're just, uh, March is a month you want to fish as much as you can. As it turns out, I'm not going to get to fish nearly as much as I want to. Uh, that's one of the reasons I went down and, and fished these first few days of March down at uh, Bienville Plantation and uh, Live Oak Plantation in Florida and in Georgia. Tremendous places down there. You're looking for some place to go have good, a lot of fun with your family. You're looking for a place to take some of your customers if you've got a business or whatever. Both of those places I'd sure recommend. And, uh, but we just, uh, we've got, March is one of my favorite months. It's one of those months that they say come in like a lion. You have a lot of wind, a lot of storms, a lot of carrying on. We've got quite a bit of rain uh, happening. You know, they say that when the deer lose their antlers early, you're going to have a rainy year. Well, TC lost his first antlers actually at the end of December, and then like the first or second of January, he lost his other one. Uh, and uh, so uh, 
The deer did lose their antlers early this year. So far, that old uh, fable or wife's tale or belief or whatever is holding up. And it's really, really true that, that we are having, so far, a rainy season. We got a lot till we fill up Big Canyon Lake, but it looks like that Twin Eagle Lake is uh, really good. It's, it's, gonna, it's just that, about that far from the deck. You can actually catch bass off of it now and just pull them up there on the deck. And still not a lot of bass around the, 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 the deck right now, because, but they'll be coming up in that shallower water as we have these warmer days. And we got a couple weeks that winter's gonna kick and fight and just scream and not wanna go away. It's gonna be in the 50s, it's gonna be cool, but we got a lot of days coming like today too. So get out there and go fishing if you can. Um, you know, um, it's just the perfect time of the year. You know, I think about springtime and I think, thank you Lord for giving me another spring, for giving me another spring to enjoy what you provide in the springtime. Great crappie fishing, great bass fishing, great tur turkey hunting, just the trees, everything coming to life. It's beginning to get green around Twin Eagle Ranch. So it's just absolutely another spring. God's given us all another spring. Enjoy it as much as you possibly can. Go out there and have you a great week. Smile, be nice to people. Treat everyone as if they are special because they are, because they are. Guys and girls, remember, I sure do love you.